evening. The state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today is broadcast. Interview of the President of Western Armenia, Armenak Abrahamian. The call of the Deputy Speaker Lydia Markusian to the mayors. Western Armenia calls to support the families affected in Artsakh. Ministry of Foreign Affairs. The real goal of the aggressive war unleashed by Turkey and Azerbaijan is the destruction of the people of Artsakh. Adam Schiff. The United States should review its relations with Azerbaijan and Turkey. Assad. The main instigator of the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict is Erdogan. News from Western Armenia. During the interview, the president of Western Armenia, Armenak Abrahamian, makes a legal analysis of the Treaty of Service. The legal steps aimed at the implementation of the Treaty of Service, the differences between the real legal maps, the vision of Wilsonian Armenia, and the current situation in Western Armenia are also discussed. The interview is available on our official website and YouTube channel. Since September 27, 2020, Azerbaijan, supported by the Turkish state, has been carrying out unprecedented violence on the territory of Artsakh, populated mainly by indigenous Armenians living on their ancestral lands for more than 10,000 years. In 1921, the Soviet Union arbitrarily ceded this territory Azerbaijan contrary to the international law and the will of the Armenian people, where Azeris pursued a discriminatory policy towards Armenians. After 70 years of colonial pressure, the Armenian people decided to implement their right of self-determination by building their state structure in accordance with the legislation of the USSR and according to international standards by starting its process of secession from the USSR together with the Soviet Socialist Republics of Armenia and Azerbaijan. It is therefore not a question of separatism but of the right of people to self-determination, the foundation of the United Nations Charter in its Article 1, Paragraph 2, and the application of the International Peace Treaty signed in Severs on August 10, 1920. This decision provoked massacres in Baku, Kirovabad, Sumgeit, killing thousands of Armenians in the Republic of Azerbaijan. In 1991, an Azeri aggression against the Artsakh Republic took place. This war caused thousands of deaths and resulted in the victory of the Republic of Artsakh exercising their rights of self-determination and a ceasefire concluded on 14 May 1994. Today, this new war of Azeri aggression supported by the Turkish armed forces targets civilian populations and legally falls within the scope of war crimes, according to the Rome Statute of the International Criminal Court and the International Humanitarian Law. This new war of aggression is directly linked to the question that remained unresolved that of the eastern border of the Armenian state of Western Armenia, recognized in 1920 by the the light powers, but which is the subject of a plan of occupation by the Turkish armed forces. Indeed, in international law, according to Article 92 of the Treaty of Service, the respective borders between Armenia, Azerbaijan, and Georgia shall be determined by direct agreement between the states concerned. This is why Azerbaijan is trying to advance its borders through ethnic cleansing without any consultation with the Armenian state of Western Armenia, as long as the military forces with the aim of joining Nahijevan. Lydia Markosian, National Council of Western Armenia. The civilian population of Artsakh suffers as a result of the war unleashed by Azerbaijan and Turkey. President of Western Armenia, Armena Kabramia, requests urgent assistance to the families affected by the shellings of the Turkish Azerbaijani army. During these days, the enemy is launching rocket attacks on the capital of Artsakh, Stepanakert, as a result of which there are victims and many casualties. Many civilian infrastructures are also damaged. If you want to support the affected families, you can make your donation to the bank account mentioned on the the official website. Continuing unsuccessful attempts to achieve any of the set military goals and suffering serious losses in manpower and equipment, the armed forces of Azerbaijan under the direct control and command of Turkey continue with the rapidly growing intensity attacks against the peaceful population and civilian infrastructures of the Republic of Artsakh. The cities of Stepana, Gertsushi, Marta, Gert, Martuni, Hadrut, and other communities across the Republic continue to be under massive missile and bomb attacks. The Artsakh Ministry of Foreign Affairs Affairs has noted this in a statement released yesterday morning. The ongoing attacks on civilians and civilian objects leave no illusion that the real purpose of the aggressive war unleashed by Azerbaijan and Turkey, with support of the terrorist organizations, fighters from the Middle East, is the extermination of the people of Artsakh in continuation of the policy of the genocide against Armenians, the statement reads.
The United States should review its relations with Azerbaijan and Turkey. Adam Schiff, a member of the House of Representatives, said this at a press conference in Los Angeles City Hall. The American people must understand what is at stake when the people of Artsakh are being killed, when civilian settlements are being shelled by Azeris, and all this with the help of Turkey. This threatens our freedom, he said. This conflict should force us to review our relations with both Turkey and Azerbaijan. If an ally of the United States is recruiting fighters from Syria to promote further bloodshed and the killing of the civilians, what kind of allies are they in NATO or elsewhere? It should be reminded that a number of US politicians have expressed their support to the Armenian community in the US, which has raised its protest against the Azeri Turkish attacks on Artsakh. Syrian President Bashar al-Assad accused Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan of being the main instigator of the conflict in Nagorno-Karabakh. He supports terrorists in Libya. He was the main instigator and initiator of the recent conflict in Nagorno-Karabakh, Assad said in an interview with Russian RIA Novosti. The statement reports that Turkey has transferred Syrian mercenaries to Azerbaijan to fight against Nagorno-Karabakh. Both Russia and France have declared they have evidences proving the fact. A U.S. Department of Defense official has told Sky News Arabia that reports about dozens of flights between Turkey and Azerbaijan to transport hundreds of Syrian mercenaries are proven and are correct. The first snow of the season fell in Kars and on the top of Arsian mountains of Ardahan, western Armenia. Sand islands were formed as the water level of the Halis River dropped. The Halis River is experiencing the driest day of the recent years. The water level is thought to have dropped due to the low level of the rainfalls during the summer months. The weather was extremely hot and the farmers were irrigating their farmland irregularly. Now let us represent your attention a song by Karin Ensemble. You can find the whole version of the song in the official page of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.